हेलो स्टूडेंट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो और इन प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड देर वी हैव डिस्कस वेरियस टाइप ऑफ मेमोरी ओके लाइक सीपीयू रजिस्टर्स देन कैश देन मेन मेमोरी एंड देन ऑक्सिलरी मेमोरी सो जस्ट लेट मी ट्राई टू एड समथिंग इन टू दैट टॉपिक दैट वेन एवर सी पी यू वॉन्ट्स टू परफॉर्म एनी Uh, data transfer operation uh, from auxiliary memory okay so cpu do not have a direct access to that memory so for that uh, cpu will use the input output processor which we have discussed in uh, previous unit last tutorial of previous unit now here uh, we will focus on main memory so if we consider the component of main memory then we have two component ram and rom okay so let us start our discussion ram is uh, known as random access memory and rom is known as read only memory okay so uh, let me tell you the first characteristics of ram okay it is volatile memory so it will store the data uh, till we will supply the power okay once the, there will be, there is no power supply then all the uh, data which is stored inside the ram it is uh, it will be deleted now the next question will be so uh, how it will be stored so uh, there are two type of ram uh, s ram and dram now how sram will work static ram and uh, dram is dynamic ram so how static uh, static ram will work so in static ram data will be uh, stored in form of uh, by 0 and 1 okay so uh, uh, till we will supply the power uh, it will uh, store it will store the data and uh, in case of dram uh, the charge will be stored in form of capacitors so the capacitors will be available inside the dram uh, it is uh, i think mos metal or uh, metal oxide uh, semiconductor chips so inside that chips there there will be capacitor and uh, if you want to store data then uh, frequently we have to uh, charge the dram okay so uh, this is how it works so mostly uh, whenever there is any temporary data okay then ram will be used now what do you mean by temporary data let's say cpu is processing uh, some instruction or it is processing some data and uh, the new result is generated but uh, cpu is not capable to store all the result into the memory so at that time what cpu will do uh, that it will transfer that data into the ram okay and then it will be uh, used by cpu as per requirement okay so uh, this is how ram will work normally uh, implementation of ram will be combinational circuit and sequential circuit so sequential circuits will be used to store the information and the combination circuit will be used in operation of the uh, element so most of time uh, static ram will be used uh, to implement the uh, you can say cache memory okay so and uh, dynamic ram dram will be used to uh, implement the uh, primary memory so this is what about uh, we can say ram now let us discuss what is rom so uh first of all uh, let me tell you that uh, rom is non volatile memory okay rom is non volatile memory so uh, whatever data is stored inside the rom uh, it will be permanent next uh, uh yes another characteristics it will be used to store data permanently how data will be stored into into the rom in uh, rom data will be stored by uh, 
burning the fuse burning the fuses okay and uh, here in ram we can uh, read and write we can perform read and write operation while in case of rom we cannot perform uh, write operation means it is only read only memory so uh, simply provide the address and uh, enable the chip then it will content will be automatically placed on the data so only the requirement thing in rom is uh, selection of chip and address okay so by providing these two input you can read the content of rom now uh, most of time uh, what happened that uh, there will be some uh, fixed portion of code okay so that will be executed every time okay so that code will be stored inside the rom so uh, let us try to focus on uh, bootstrap loader which is related to the rom so what is the role of uh, bootstrap loader so bootstrap loader is used to load the operating system So in bootstrap loader we can say there will be some uh, static kind of code that will be used to start the operating system. So whenever you will uh, start any operating system, uh, let's say uh, specifically about uh, Linux. Okay, so now we will combine this bootstrap uh, loader and uh, computer startup. So initially uh, init RAM FS will be loaded into the RAM. in ram file system okay which will be used which will be used to uh, check the various various peripheral and uh, cpu status and memory status and all this thing after that there will be a uh, stage 1 file system okay so there will be stage 1 file system then uh, stage 1.5 uh, file system then stage 2 file system and then onwards we will have after this we will have operating system okay so uh, what is role of this bootstrap loader uh, bootstrap loader uh, contains uh, uh, some code okay uh, which will be used to uh, start the computer software operating uh, or start the computer software or operating system when whenever it is uh, powered on okay so uh, now if we quickly try to revise the uh, ram and rom okay then ram is volatile memory static ram and dynamic ram this will store the data uh, till we will supply the power while in case of dram uh, charge will be stored using capacitor and, uh, and those kind of chips are uh, metal oxide semiconductor chips and inside uh, these chips there will be capacitors provided by a manufacturer and uh, this will be uh, refreshed frequently uh, to maintain the charge or to maintain the data and uh, it will be used to store the temporary data SRAM will be used to implement the cache memory while DRAM will be used to implement the uh, primary memory and uh, for implementing this both RAM combinational and sequential circuits will be used uh, so uh, normally uh, temporary data means whenever CPU will process uh, some uh, data or it will execute the instruction and re result is large which cannot be accommodated into the RAM then uh, into the CPU then it will be shifted to the RAM uh, now uh, ROM so no ROM is a non volatile memory and it will store data permanently full form of ROM is read only memory means we can only perform the read operation not any other operation it will be uh, uh, data will be stored into ROM by burning the fuses and uh, we have to if we want to read the content from ROM then we have to provide only two input selection of chip and uh, address that's it and uh, the data which is stored inside the ROM uh, it will be fixed there are various types of ROM like uh, if ROM then uh, P ROM then e square P ROM okay so these are the various ROM 
okay this is programmable read only memory it will be blank but we can program it then if e from uh, that uh, we can uh, uh, we can program in the same environment without removing then uh, uh, if we want to erase the data okay then uh, we can expose this into uv light and uh, then we can reuse the memory and in e square p rom uh, without using uv light uh, we can uh, directly uh, electrically erasable programmable read only memory so using the signals we can uh, erase it so uh, this is wrong and then we have discussed bootstrap loader so that is used to uh, load the operating system so and it, it contains the code if we discuss about linux then uh, there will be a grub file which will uh, store all the booting media or bo uh, booting drive and uh, if we discuss about Linux, then uh, there are various file system like initram file system, stage 1, stage 1.5, 2, and uh, then operating system will be loaded. So this is how computer startup will take place. So whenever any computer will be started, whenever you will press any power button, so first there will be uh, smart checking. So what is smart self monitoring and uh, reporting technique? Uh, which is used to uh, check the various uh, whether all the peripheral devices are working properly or not then uh, ram will be a ram and uh, you can say cache memory then uh, cpu register all will be uh, reset okay and uh, then uh, uh, it can be used so after that uh, this init ram file system stage 1 stage 1.5 and two file system will be loaded so accordingly uh, the computer will uh, start so in this tutorial we will keep up to this in next tutorial we will discuss uh, what is ram chip and what is rom chip okay and how memory address will be created thank you